All right, here we are in the uh, Xena CH650, and I'm uh, Sebastian here with Roger. Hi, guys. And uh, we're just uh, going up for a nice little flight. It's been kind of a while since we uh, been doing demo flights, and it's kind of good to be back in the air and uh, and doing our, our regular activities that we love to do, isn't it? Oh, it is, yes. And uh, like I mentioned, we're in our CH650, our low-wing uh, cruiser airplane. And uh, in the airplane with us, uh, you know, we've got the, the Dynon Skyview uh, HDX screens. And the uh, reason I mention that is uh, tonight, uh, and then we're, what are we, we're June 19th, Friday, June 19th. Uh, tonight we're uh, doing a webinar, well, actually Dynon is, is hosting a, a webinar, basically a Zoom meeting, uh, allowing a lot of folks to, to join in to learn more about uh, installing the, the Dynon panel in their aircraft. And uh, so we'll be uh, joining in with uh, the, the, the friendly folks at Dynon to do that. And, uh, you know, and they're, they're the makers of these uh, multi-function display screens and uh, pretty much running everything uh, through the screens. And it just gives a lot more capability on the airplane. And we've got the 10-inch over here in front of Roger and the 7-inch in front of me. They're basically just mirror images of, of what you show on there. And... Uh, these screens are a lot of fun because you can really show all, everything you want to, whether it's just engine information, uh, uh, again, GPS uh, information and so forth. It's just a lot more information uh, that you want to display on it. And uh, again, it's, uh, it's uh, again, June, uh, June 19th, and uh, what do we have going on in the factory today, Roger? Well, we've had, uh, had a rudder workshop started yesterday, and uh, the guys are finishing it up today, and they should be finished by noon. Uh, it's our first workshop at the factory since December. So we had a workshop in Florida in January, and then the pandemic uh, stopped us from having the work uh, the in-house in workshops, so we've right. had uh, virtual workshops since then, and it's nice to have the customers back in the factory uh, doing demo flights and, uh, you know, just talking airplane talk. Absolutely, yeah, you know, and we, we really kind of enjoy doing the, uh, the virtual workshop, but at the same time, there's definitely no replacement for in-person uh, activities, is there? Exactly. So, uh... So again, we're happy to be to be doing that, and, and of course, uh, just like we're doing now, you know, flying around, you know, part of the part of the workshop experience is the demo flight going up in the airplanes, and you know, again, there's amazing visibility that you get in the 650. Again, it's it's easy to forget that when we're when we're uh, you know busy just talking airplanes and so forth, but it really doesn't replace going up and flying and enjoying these airplanes for what they're they're designed to do, isn't it? Exactly. And we're taking precautions too. You know, we're requiring our customers to bring their headsets, and we're kind of wiping down everything after they get out. So we, you know, it's not like we're being free will or anything. So. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, uh, you know, we, a big part of what we're doing is you know staying open and be there for our customers, and so we know it's important that we stay healthy ourselves and 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 keep all our customers healthy as well. So uh, absolutely taking all that uh, quite seriously. And uh, tomorrow, uh, June 20th, it's actually the longest day of the year. It's the summer, uh, the summer solstice, um, longest day of the year, and that's also the day that we do our fly into summer. We welcome in summer and then do our uh, our open house uh, event. And we're still doing it this year. Uh, we're kind of downplaying it a little bit because, uh, again, because of the pandemic, we social distancing and all that. We want to be able to respect that, but at the same time, uh, still still be opening our doors. Um, with our open house, uh, doing some some flying, and hopefully have some customers fly in. Um, let folks uh, go through our factory, see what's going on in our factory. We have our new CNC router with a with a dual uh, spindle, and we'll be demonstrating that uh, uh, during the day. And uh, have a local food truck, and just you know have a have a fun morning. And it's mainly just a tomorrow morning event. But uh, certainly uh, look forward to doing that, meeting with builders and customers and just the local community as well. Exactly. Well, I'm going to uh, end on the downwind and get back to the tech support and run a workshop. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, we could be out here all day. <laughs> I know. It'd be a <laughs> beautiful day again today. It's a nice summer, well, nearly summer day. And uh, so definitely look forward to doing that. And uh, we'll do a... A nice landing on what are we taking? Runway 18, I yeah, guess. Yeah, we'll take 18. Uh, Winds are like a 240, 24 or 25 at 45 knots, so it's it's basically whatever you want today. 
So, uh, you know, and the message for you guys out there is, you know, keep building. Uh, if you're not building yet, it's, this is a good time to start building an airplane. Uh, talk to us. Um, again, uh, come and visit us as well. You know, by special appointment, we're still able to, uh, again, to do demo flights, factory tours, and so forth. And hopefully in the next month or so, things are continue to open up and uh, that uh, we can get back to, uh, back to life uh, as usual. And uh, again, we want to thank all the Zenith builders and customers out there for supporting us and, uh, and definitely look forward to continue to, to do what we do. Exactly. So here again, we're, we'll be landing on, on runway 18 shortly and uh, entering the ba base leg for 18, 650. Okay, Mexico traffic to base to final 18, Mexico. I just love the visibility from that bubble canopy. Oh yeah, very unique. That's a nice short landing. Yeah. 